Global News. A couple weeks ago, we told you about an amazing new technology. It's called 3D printing. It's yeah. a technique that allows users to virtually recreate any objects. Its applications are limitless, and already it's changing how we live and how we see ourselves from the inside out. Mm, with more, here's Mina Reed. Which one is it? How many people can say they've held know. their own heart in their hands? Lucy is doing just that. It looks like a like hose and um, it looks like a heart you draw. Printed, 3D printed to be exact. Doctors at SickKids Hospital used cutting edge technology, printing a replica of the child's complex heart as a visualization tool to intimately understand the anatomy before performing her life saving operation. I can hold the model in my hands and almost instantly tell what operation I'm going to need to do. Compare that to these 2D scans surgeons typically use to plan procedures. The technology's transformative potential is obvious. Okay, can this is yours. It? Yeah, you can feel it. Yes, yeah, you can feel it. What Whoa, it <laughs> that is all powder. You could say these models provide a road map, taking much of the guesswork out of surgery where every second counts. Lucy's surgery was supposed to take three to four hours. It took 12. I can't imagine if they hadn't had this road map and he just opened up and saw all the complexities how much longer it would have taken or the unfavorable outcome that we could have had. The medical uses for 3D printers is growing every day. Just recently, doctors in Michigan saved a baby's life with a 3D printed tracheal splint to keep the airway open. Scientists in Princeton created a bionic ear that can hear radio frequencies far beyond the normal human capacity. And 3D printed models are now being used to explain fetal abnormalities to parents. Now this technology isn't limited to the cardiac department here. Cranial facial surgeons at Sickets have practiced mock surgeries on printed skulls. The divisions of urology, ENT, plastics and orthopedics have come on board as well. The hope is this technology will lead to even better surgeries down the road as it revolutionizes the way fellows are trained. The new machine can make the, uh, the motors very similar to uh, the human uh, heart muscles so that they can practice a suture and then patching some holes in this material. Teach them how to do the operation on a model instead of spending 10 years to get to where you're good enough to even be able to learn to do it on a child. Bye bye. And opening the door to personalized health care, pioneering medicine that's altering the lives of children like Lucy, one print at a time. Now, some surgeons have said the shift to 3D printing is like jumping from fixed phone lines to cell phones or putting on a pair of glasses. It's really that much of a jump. And I was telling her parents yeah. that, you know, she's turning six in a couple of weeks, that their biggest obstacle now, because she's thriving, is to try to keep up with this kid. Yeah, I was going to say, I can Good see she luck. had her own show, the way she was interviewing that doctor. But it's incredible? amazing, as I'm sure the success rate will improve as well with this oh, extra they, tool. It must. Oh, absolutely. I mean, can you imagine going from, they thought even with this model, it would be four, three to four hours, it ended up being 12 well, and a half. Yeah. That's with the model, and these surgeons are incredible. But it's giving them the tools that previously they would look at a CT scan or an MRI and kind of guess and visualize. Mm -hmm, now mm -hmm, they can mm -hmm. go in and say, oh my goodness, there's an additional heart there, or we should make a suture here, or yeah. move the, you know, all these things that they would have had to make decisions on the spot in the OR when the, the kids it's open. Just exactly. Open. Yeah. All right. Incredible. Mina, Great story. Amazing. Thanks, Mina. You're welcome. No matter where you go, there's no place like Dome.